battle mage from Skyrim. Now, last time we handed over the Ring in Darkness quest, which involved uh, seeking out and acquiring the Ring of the Wind, a sacred artifact of Cunareth, the goddess of air. And we are now at the Imperial Chapels. And I think what we could do is we could ask for another oracle. Well, Welcome, Lord. Friend. It would be a pleasure to speak with you. Disciple Ragnar Frostwind. I have need of you again. I've been granted a prophecy of the boots of the Apostle. A legendary treasure of Shuradil, relic of Tiber Septim, who was also called Talos, through the doors of Berandas, within the silent caverns, beneath the wings of twilight, dust sleeps in the shoes that Talos wore. Recover the boots of the Apostle and bring them to me. A Dunmer Savant or a Dunmer Scout may have clues. To the meaning of the prophecy. Okay, tell me about the boots of the Apostle. When Talos, Storm Crown, was a young man in Skyrim, he went into the mountains to learn the secrets of the Greybeards. He learned the secrets of the high peak winds, the roar of the winter blast, and the warm silk of the summer updrafts. When he descended from the mountains, he came right in the clouds, striding through the air in great boots. He claimed were gifts of the Greybeards for his cunning, craft, and riddling. After Septim yielded his crown, the boots disappeared and had been lost for many years. Hmm. Tell me about Cyrodiil. Surdiel is the cradle of human imperial high culture on Tamriel. It is the largest region of the continent, and most is endless jungle. The imperial city is in the heartland, the fertile Nibenebe Valley. The densely populated Central Valley is surrounded by wild rainforests drained by great rivers into the swamps of Argonia and Topol Bay. The land rises gradually to the west and sharply to the north. Between its western coast and its central valley, a deciduous how do you spell that? Forests and mangrove swamps. Tell me about Talos. Tiber Septim was born on the continent of Abnora. With the name Talos. When he became the Emperor of Tamriel, he took a Cyrodiilic name, Tiber Septim, the Dragon of the North. Okay. Um, well, what do you know about Skyrim? Skyrim, also known as the Old Kingdom or the Fatherland, was the first region of Tamriel settled by humans from the continent of Atmor, the hardy, brave, warlike Nords whose, de whose descendants still occupy this rugged land. Though more restrained and civilized than their barbarian ancestors, the Nords of the pure blood still excel in the manly virtues of red war and bold exploration. Oh, thank you. We try. Mm. Okay. Well, I think that's enough for now. Right. Tetra, let's go. Hmm. Right, so ask a Dunmer Savant or Dunmer Scout. Well, hello there. How are you? Yeah, let's go ahead and ask 
this person again. Let's hear it. What Let's do you want? It. Welcome, Ragnar Frostwind. Perhaps you're interested in running an errand for me. Uh, still no, but now I have a question about the boots of the Apostle. The place name reference in the Oracle's prophecy is obvious. An ancient Dunma stronghold called Berandas lies south of the village of Nisis in the West Gash region. I would also not be surprised to find that the reference to Wings of Twilight designates the guardians of the treasure you seek. Winged Twilights are Daedric servants of the Daedra Lord Azura, one of the anticipations worshipped in the Tribunal Temple. Oh, thank you. What was that? Any time now? Well... Oh, let's see. I think the easiest thing to do is use this. So it gets us here. And use Divine Intervention to get us to... Wolverine Hall and Tetra is following. And oh, good. What was I thinking? Welcome. Uh. Please don't be shy. I'm listening. And send us to Caldera. If I can be of any assistance, I'll be happy to help. Huh. Maybe I should actually stop by uh, Telefur and maybe ask if, you know, if, um, if Yakum Vagran nice, would need some more help. Seem to last longer. But anyway, I shouldn't have put you on so me. Hard. Do you wish to do business? Yes. Oh, yeah, right. Because now that we are high enough in the rank, he, he will actually service us. Good. Okay, so send us to Berandas. That's also another good thing about doing the Master Index quest. Does this. This little like transportation hub that you can now that you can then establish in Caldera. It's actually very handy. And there we go. Hmm. Oh right, there was like a lot of stuff we probably should have just taken to uh, our home in Calder. Well, I mean, Bob, more and more. But. Well, anywho. Well. Okay, follow me. Let us go here. Dark. is now shining some light. Okay, it's downstairs, that's good. Mm, ingredients. Oh, I think of Well, I think my moon sugar and skooma are in 
in in a heart but it's not gonna go anywhere so Well, okay.
Hmm, very dark. Oh, tetra. Oh. Okay, well, let's see. Okay, let's go. Okay, that goes even further down. Show for all of you. Okay, we'll take that. Put 
Acts of the Apostle. Looks like we finally found them. Well. Well, let's try them. After all, we came all this way, so we might as well try them on. Right? Kinda looks like there could be something up here. Let's go and check it out. Oh, but the key that we picked up didn't doesn't open this one. Well, okay. That guy asks way too many questions. Yes, what is it? I'm so glad to see you. I'm a healer, and I had been making my way to Nisus from Aldrun when these two winged twilights snatched me from the road and bore me into air. Trapped me deep beneath the earth and stranded me on this high pillar of rock. I prayed to Mara for divine intervention. He must have been sent in answer to my prayers. Uh, well, I suppose this is your lucky day. Amanin. Yeah. Mara be praised. And you too, for your forethought and compassion, since you came prepared, not just for yourself, but for other poor victims. A scroll of divine intervention can carry me from this terrible captivity to safety of an imperial cult shrine. Please, give me that scroll. I don't want to be here a moment longer. Sure. There you go. Bless you and all your endeavors. Farewell and good fortune, but before I go, please, let me at least give you a gift. All I have is this lucky chance of clothes I've carried with me on my travels. I never wear them, I just keep them as a good luck charm. Perhaps you can wear them in re remembrance of me, and a token of your generosity towards stranger. Mara's skirt and Mara's blouse. <coughs> You know what? Yes. Follow me. Actually, just to make sure, let's go and talk to Yagu and Bogart. I don't know if you will actually have any more job for us. And, and really I don't because I think this is probably the first time I even play this mod. At least I don't recall having played this mod. Back again, Rocknot Frostwind. What do you need? Well, 
Let's talk about your hobby. More about airship. Hmm, okay. Well, I don't know if this would actually work or not, but... Now, I'm not... I, I really don't know if Yakrum Bakas is gonna have any more work for us. Like, ever. But... But it's worth a try. Because the description for the mod certainly speaks of the possibility to even basically like have Yakrum Bakan make you a a flying dreamer ship, but who knows? At least it doesn't seem to trigger immediately, so maybe there's some time delay. Or some other conditions. Hello How there. Are you? How are you? All right, this person on here. What did I do to deserve this honor? Greetings to you. A pleasure to meet you. All right. All right, action while we're here. You have done the deeds of a hero. It's a sign that you were meant to keep the boots for yourself, to keep them safe, and to dedicate them to the service of the Nine. And from what you tell me of this healer, Amanin, I suspect you may have spoken with the goddess Mara herself. This guy is in mortal form to test you. Congratulations. Such a chance meeting her sign of the Nine's favor. Speak to me again. Speak with me again when you are ready to undertake another of the Oracle's quest. Yes, oh yeah, we got Mara's skirt and Mara's shirt and blouse. Mara's blouse gives resist magic 10%, constant effects, so. Not bad, actually. In fact, that is something I am gonna wear. And, sure, Mara skirt. I mean, if the Scottish and the Irish, they wear their kilts, then why, why couldn't, why couldn't our Nord friend, our Ragnar Frostwind then wear a skirt too. It f constant effect 45 health. Right. Oh, reputation 20. She had a lot of reputation by now. But... Okay, right. Now. I think this is enough for now, and when we return, well, who knows, maybe we'll continue working for the Imperial Cult and ask for another, another mission, another quest from the Oracle. But until next time, bye bye.